Vacant, abandoned, and potentially hazardous buildings are spread all throughout the city of Cleveland. And some city leaders say it could take up to a half billion dollars to tear them all down. News 5 investigator Joe Pakanakis explains what people who live near these buildings want to see happen in order to make their neighborhoods safer. Well, Courtney, some leaders here at Cleveland City Hall say it will take a more aggressive law department to crack down on these vacant and abandoned buildings and former factories. When you live across the street from this, it, it's damn sure important to me. Lamar Hudson of Cleveland says he's lived across from this building on Wayside Road for more than 15 years, last occupied by Ohio Mattress Recycling. This is a recipe for disaster. And here it is. There's a building on fire. Cleveland Fire reports someone lit the building on fire back on October 18th, and now the charred potential hazard remains wide open and unsecured. Many of the residents living nearby, too afraid to speak on camera, say they've reported the building to the city multiple times. This was inevitable to happen. Somebody was breaking in here. They took all the wiring and the plumbing out. It's the number one complaint into my office, housing, in building code enforcement. Cleveland Councilman Michael Polenzik says he's also reported the building to Cleveland building inspectors, but says he's not gotten any response. We're not trying to cure world hunger here. Enforce the code. Go after these owners of these properties. Secure them. Hold people accountable. Polenzik has been on a crusade since 2016, trying to get abandoned factories like the old Acme building, which we profiled back in 2019 and is still standing, taken down. But Polenzik believes it could take up to a half billion dollars to address dozens of abandoned buildings citywide. That state and federal dollars will be needed to get the job done. We've seen what has happened with other structures that are wide open where people get dragged in them. We've seen it. We've, we've experienced the, the heartbreak. Meanwhile, all Hudson and his neighbors can do is hope this building will soon be secured from arsonists and more. And if it ain't that, it's trash, it's garbage, whatever. Not to mention, the uh, you're not secure. You got people walking around outside the building in the middle of the night. And we reached out to the owner of Ohio Mattress Recycling with two phone calls and two Facebook messages. We're still waiting for a response. Meanwhile, the city of Cleveland did respond, saying it issued a violation to the owner of that building and is still trying to determine if that building should be condemned. I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.